We have discussed this matter uh, in length and we agree 100 million percent with this motion. Domestic violence should be condemned, gender-based violence should be condemned, and the entire House will unify to condemn domestic violence. I would like to recommend that we go further than what the motion stipulates, and that, Madam Speaker, carrying on from the last administration, you have undertaken to uh, do the code of conduct for this honorable house and as well your colleague in the senate and i do believe that when we have these instances not just gender-based violence but any instance in which any member of parliament is alleged to be behaving in a way that falls short of the highest standards which we hold our parliamentarians too, that there should be additional steps taken by this House. I, I sit on the House Rules uh, Committee. I believe that there should be a, a House Select Committee chaired by Madam Speaker, and we should look into these allegations similar to when a person faces a criminal prosecution and they may be victorious, but there can be a civil liability. So I do believe, uh, in keeping with the code of conduct, that we should go further than just this pronouncement, but put teeth into holding members of this House accountable. I myself have been accused, and it is not something that I take lightly. I have apologized to my wife, to my daughter, to my mother, my mother-in-law, all the women that support me uh, for even being remotely involved in such allegations. And I take it very serious. It was an isolated incident and it should never and will never happen again. And even in those isolated incidents, I would like that there be a procedure in the house where if not G GVB, but any type of allegation of misbehavior, inappropriate conduct, that we go further, further than if the criminal courts decide that they will not pursue it, that the House convenes a special select committee to look into these matters. So this motion has my full support and the support of the colleagues on this side.